but you know what I mean? I mean, if you want this, if you want bling bling, if you want to buy the Jets, if you want to do shit, work. That's how you get it. And when I watch what people complain about, it breaks my heart because they completely lack perspective. And I, I genuinely believe my happiness and optimism comes from my perspective. I, even in political unrest times like right now, a lot of people are very bent out of shape, but the reality is, is that it's just never been better to be a human being. That's just the truth, that's just data, that's, that's reality. Yeah, I mean, it's just a very fun time to be alive. So much going on. I mean, like, it's just an incredible time. And I think the way people look at the world right now, because it's such an incredible time is actually the quickest tell to who they are. If you think it sucks or it's bad, you have losing pessimistic DNA. And if you think it's awesome and phenomenal, you have optimistic winning DNA. And I believe that to be true. And so that's where we're at. Like I actually get goosebumps. Like actually, like real heavy goosebumps when I hear something that I know feels right. What's the advice there? Start getting goosebumps. Like I can't, there's certain things that I can't talk about because I know they're not practical. They're intuitive to me. People lack perspective. Gary Vee's confidence and positivity comes from his own perspective. It's an incredible time to be alive. The way people look at the world is the quickest tell on who they are as a person. If you have a negative view, you are losing DNA. If you have a super positive view, you have winning DNA. You might get goosebumps when you hear something that you know is right. Gary Vee knows this is intuitive to him, but he wants you to acknowledge that something is happening around you when you feel it. Optimism is the fuel to practicality. You don't have to believe in something, but when you don't believe in something, you won't put in the work. Stop crying and keep hustling. Hustle is the most important word ever. You are out there building businesses and empires. The most important thing for speed for your company is internal culture. The number one thing that will make your company go fast is continuity and lack of politics. Emotional intelligence will become the most important trade. Your emotional capabilities to work with others will become superior to other skills. However, I believe that optimism is the fuel to practicality, right? If you don't believe you're doing it for a reason or it's exciting, you're not gonna wanna put in the hours of the work. And so that's who I've always been. I've always been ambitious and happy. I was very fortunate. I had a tremendous mother who loved me very, very much, so I felt good. However, she did not create entitlement. When I lost or when I was doing bad, she told me. She didn't make a fake environment, which is a huge factor. And to be honest, my biggest concern about the last 20 years of parenting, too much fake environments, too much entitlement, which is why so many people struggle when they go into the real world because the real world doesn't care. The real world is not your mama anymore. Stop crying and just keep hustling. Hustle is the most important word ever and that's what you need to do. You need to work so hard. Guys, we're building businesses here. This isn't about parties. We're building businesses. I used to work in a liquor store from seven in the morning to 10 at night for seven straight years and the only days off I took were to watch the New York Jets. And you know what that did? It made me throw up on myself. So that wasn't a vacation. I don't wanna hear about this two job thing, right? Nine to five, I don't have time. If you want this, if you're miserable or if you don't like it or you wanna do something else and you have a passion somewhere else, work nine to five, spend a couple hours with your family, seven to two in the morning is plenty of time to do damage. But that's it. It's not gonna happen any other way. You're not gonna make stickers and give out swag and everybody's gonna give a shit about your son. I mean, you start building your equity and your brand and whatever you're trying to accomplish after hours. You, everybody has time. Stop watching Lost. So, you know what I mean? I mean, if you want this, if you want bling bling, if you want to buy the Jets, if you want to do shit, work. That's how you get it. The number one thing that will make your company go fast is continuity and lack of politics. Which means we are on the dawn of the era where emotional intelligence is about to become the single most important trade. That skills through technology growth will continue on a daily basis to be commoditized. But your emotional capabilities to interact with others will become a very, very important trade. You better go home and audit every single employee you have and you better figure out which employee makes the other employees miserable. I don't give a shit if it's your number one salesperson, your best developer, or your co-founder. Cancer spreads. With cancer and politics comes lack of speed. Your company will get much slower because people are sitting around debating how 
how miserable they are or worried to have meetings with other individuals. Your company will get slow in a world where the speed of product output, features, and how you interact with your customers has never been greater. So I implore a tech-centric, financial-centric, type A room like this to go home and get really in tune with their feelings. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment for more content.